Hi, Ace Hoppers, it's Dean here. Uh, I've got Katie with me, and she's going to read through the whole libretto of the mystery of Sherlock's home uh, in the accents that we're going to be using. So this is a chance for you to kind of like listen to those accents and uh, to kind of copy the way she's speaking. So here's Katie. Hi, guys. So I've got the, the whole script here, and uh, I'm going to be doing most of the parts. The only things that I'm not going to be reading are the parts where it's the entire staff doing something together because... That's going to be three accents all in one go, and I'm, I'm, I'm just not that good. So when it gets to the big staff parts or the big group parts, just feel free to go ahead and do whatever accents have been assigned to you to the best of your abilities. Okay, so here we go. Good people of London, come and see the wonders of the Sherlock Museum of Mystery. Open a mere two years after the master detective's mysterious death. Sherlock Museum of Mystery. In 221B Baker Street, the very flat, he shared with his assistant the brilliant Dr. Watson. Oh, Mrs. Grantham, isn't it delightful? Without a doubt, Mrs. Crawley. The Sherlock Museum of Mystery. See the amazing artifacts of the stupendous sleuth. Oi, show ya, get a load of that. Not too bad at all. The Sherlock Museum of Mystery. His famous deerstalker hat. I say, Constable Tambling, Sherlock was my hero. No matter what they say, a real upstanding gent. The Sherlock Museum of Mystery. His famous calabash pipe. Oi, Pip, what you think? Scat a pocket blag round here, mind you. The Sherlock Museum of Mystery. His famous magnifying glass. Let us in, let us in. So after the next song, we have Bert Whistle. And now behold the greatest items in our collection. The hat, the pipe, the magnifying glass. We've been robbed! Wicked! Somebody's gone nick the hole! Citizens remain calm in the name of the law. I didn't knock off work at the docks to say nothing. Oh heavens me, I knew we shouldn't have come downtown. Everyone remain calm. In the name of all that is good, look at that! It's, it's, it's a ghost! The ghost of Sherlock Holmes himself! Rhymer, he's coming to eat us! All right then, all right then, there's no such thing as ghosts. Crime, on the other hand, is very real. Well, now why, do, who do we have here? You socialites, come over here and sit yourselves down. You, you smelly dog workers, sit down here. And you little urchins can sit down right there. We'll figure this out. I think we'll need some help on this one, Captain. Fine. Everyone search for clues. Aha! Look at this! I found something near the hot case. Oh, bravo, Lady Aldridge. What is it? A candy! A candy? That's what I said, a candy! And who do you suppose might have a candy in their possession? Nimble enough to steal a priceless hat, yet careless enough to drop the sweet during the heist? The urchins! Oi! We don't know such thing! Discrimination of the lower classes, says I, I do. That really isn't enough evidence, I'm afraid. That's right. Who here doesn't enjoy a good sweet now and again? Rhyme All right, then. Keep looking for clues. What we have here? I found something near a pipe case. Wait a go, me old chuck a boo. What is it? It's a feather. A feather? What? Do you not have no full chucky? It's what I said. A feather from a wild goose by the look of it. Now, where do you think we might find a wild goose feather in these parts? Pretty plenty to chase one of them down. Have to be someone with a fair bit of cabbage in their purses, eh? The socialites. We are members of the social elite. We are not amused. Sorry, I skipped lines there, guys. Discrimination of the upper classes, I say. Indeed, I do. That really isn't enough evidence either, I'm afraid. That's right. This here is the migration season of the European wild goose. There are literally thousands flying over London right now. Double blimey. Right then, back to it. Hold up there, governor. Oh, squeaky is your dandy. What'd you find, squeaky old chap? What is it? A airing. A airing? 
Ah, gone, you're blooming, Adam. A earring and a red one at that. Nah, nah, governor. What sort of folk might have access to such a fine ichthyological specimen as we see here? Huh? What? Just because we're street urchins don't mean we're balmy, do it? I have to be someone down by the water, I'd say. Maybe someone who works on a dock? Poppycock! We'll have the unions down on you. Discrimination of the lower classes, I'd say. Or upper lower class, or something like that. No, no, that really isn't enough evidence either, I'm afraid. The second floor gallery is dedicated to Mr. Holmes' love of kippered herring. Triple blimey. So there it is, nothing to be done. Let's call it a night. I suppose so. Nothing to see here, folks. You can all go home. Wait! We can't take it anymore. We stole that. Wait! We can't take it anymore. We stole the pipe. Wait! We can't take it anymore. We stole the magnifying glass. But he made us do it. The ghost. No ghost, Captain. Just a normal person, Captain. Here's your man, Captain. Elementary, dear Watson? Mr. Sorton? Dr. James Watson? I'm sorry. For all my life I've played second fiddle to the great Sherlock Holmes. I just wanted to be the hero. I just wanted to be the star for once in my life. Ah, throw him in jail!